The Indiana Economic Development Corporation is accepting applications for grants meant to help spur new growth. The half a billion dollars available was allocated by the state from the federal government's American Rescue Plan. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Escal shows us how the funding could impact our communities. The mayor of Noblesville says his city is growing rapidly. In the advanced manufacturing sector, life sciences, we're seeing a lot of growth in life sciences. And he sees opportunity to expand on that progress. In 2020, we announced $145 million of public-private investment in our downtown alone. Noblesville joined several other central Indiana communities to form the White River Regional Opportunity Initiative. The group is applying for a grant from the Indiana Economic Development Corporation. The money comes from the Regional Economic Acceleration and Development Initiative, also known as Ready. Officials say the funding could help bring new development along the White River. Along the White River itself, we have a lot of opportunity uh, that we've been exploring over time. Officials with the Indiana Economic Development Corporation tell me they received many other notices from towns like Noblesville that intend to apply for these grants. And they tell me the funding can be used for several different purposes, including development and programs to attract and retain Hoosiers and businesses. Quality of place, construction projects, whether that be workforce housing, other cultural amenities, uh, but also in other programmatic initiatives focused on promoting entrepreneurship. Mark Waski of the IEDC says grant recipients will be chosen based on the potential of growth under their regional plans, as well as how they match up with the state's economic goals. It's improving the quality of place and the quality of life in, in Indiana's communities, so really focusing um, as well as um, on helping them redevelop existing properties. The grant review process will begin this fall. In Noblesville, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Now, participating regions had to submit notices that they intend to apply for grants by July 1st. The applications are due at the end of August. Hello.